solving literal equations. This is a very abstract concept to be called literal. But your science teachers will love you if you can do this. Basically, solving literal equations just means I'm going to use my equation solving skills and apply them to a formula. So I'm going to try to get a variable that's not already isolated by itself. So for example, in this equation here, I could say solve for letter C. And that just means work this using opposite operations, using dis distribution if you need to, work this until that letter C is by itself. Well, I would do things like, it would, be, it would be the same kind of stuff I would do if all these other letters were numbers instead. Let me, let me actually fill in some numbers first, and then I will uh, show you how this works. So if, if I said A is 10, and H is 3, and B is 12, C we don't know, and we have that 2 down there. Okay, The steps you would be doing to solve this are times 2 on both sides to get rid of that divide by 2. And then divide by 3 on both sides to get rid of that times 3. And then minus 12 on both sides to get rid of that plus 12. And you would uh, have C by itself at that point. Okay. Times 2 on divide by 2 got rid of each other, right? So that's, that's the steps you would take if there were numbers in here. Now, there's not numbers in here, but you're going to take the same steps. I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of this 2. So I've got 2As. Now, 2As equals H times that parentheses. And then after that, I will divide by H. All right, h over h is 1, divide by h over here. Now I just have a b plus the c, and if I subtract the b, we've got c equals 2a over h minus b. That would be a solution. that equation solved for C. I could, I could do the same thing. I could say, let me, let me solve for H instead. What do I have to do to get this letter H by itself? And again, we'd be multiplying both sides by 2, so we get 2As equals H times B plus C. And then I could divide, the, I could divide by this parenthesis. 2a's divided by b plus c equals h. Done. So you're really just using algebra to manipulate a formula. Again, this is more often used in science class. Although, when you hit up this formula here, uh, being able to manipulate this formula could be helpful in geometry when you get there. So. If I say, let me solve for letter B, let me get B by itself, I'm going to need to subtract A squared from both sides. So we got C squared minus A squared equals B squared. And then how do we get rid of a square? We take the square root. Square root of this difference is letter B. Opposite operations to move things away from whatever variable we care about. Might as well do two more examples since I got them up here. What if I wanted to solve for x? Subtract b from both sides, we get y minus b equals mx. Divide both sides by m, we get x equals y minus b over m. 
x is by itself now. x is solved for. Last one down here. What if I, what if I want to solve for letter p? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually multiply by p on both sides to get p out of the denominator. So pr equals v squared. This is from electrical shock, by the way. Resistance equals voltage squared divided by power. Divide both sides by r. Voltage squared over the resistance equals the power. What if I wanted, instead of solving for p, I wanted to solve for v? Well, already, same, same first move, multiply both sides by, by p. Got this, and then I would be taking the square root. Square root of power times resistance equals voltage. Solving literal equations.